Um, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some more advanced uh, first block tips. So first block's like really simple, so you can pretty much just jump from straight from beginners to advanced like in one go. So um, the maximum number of moves to solve a first block case is four, but that's one really specific uncommon case. So the average I believe is 1.6, so usually you'll be getting one or two slices and sometimes three slices but and then in really rare specific cases it'll be four slices so uh, on green black this is the four slice case where you have these two corners that are like opposite facing and you have the other edge that's like on the other side and like the best way to do that would be something like this but still terrible you want to avoid doing that first block no matter like <laughs> as best you can um, so basically to solve first block, like you'll be solving like one piece at a time, so um, you'll connect uh, it's usually one edge to another corner and then um, and then solve the last corner. So for example, I'd connect like this green uh, to this green, bring it to the back like that and then I can solve the other green like this really easily. Uh, in some cases, like for this green black a first block solution it can be worth just um, connecting uh, the two green corners together and then doing an m2 for the last edge but usually you don't want to be doing this uh, make sure you also know how to connect like pieces to the back if i'm doing red uh red the red block then edges up here i have to bring it to the front and this corner to the back to connect them and then i can do this last edge like that um, if you've got like if you've got like a pre-made like double pair of um, like corner and edge, it can be like good to do the like to choose to do that because um, if the corner and the pair are on different layers, it's always going to be a one slicer like this. Or if the pair was in the top, you could just slice it to that like this. Uh, just remember, you can build. Uh, you can build your first block on either like a corner, so connect like this green to this green, and then finish it. But you could also um, like build, start building it on an edge, like this this corner here. Build it like that, and then I've got this last one, like that. Uh, looking at blue block here, pieces are here, here, and here. So here we have kind of like a pseudo block where like the wrong corner is matched. So these can be kind of good, uh, if the pseudo pair and the other corner are in different layers, it's always like a two, um, two move, two slice solution, and they're also pretty quick. So I would start by like connecting uh, the blue edge with the corner, and then you just have to do one small move to finish the block. So that's pretty fast. And here looking at red block, um, pseudo pair on the bottom and then corner on the top uh, this one you'd have to do a bit more than a little move but still pretty quick you um, so here I would actually like pair up the the edge to the top and then do uh, five and bring this to the bottom like that it's not as fast but still not bad uh, if we're looking at green block here and we have like a pseudo pair and uh, the other corner here they're in the same layer and it's kind of bad but you can do some like kind of funky stuff like uh, kind of instead of viewing this as a pseudo pair see this as like a line with these two and then I can bring these two down and then um, connect these two and then like a uh, little d2 and then that's done um, so more on the concept of like kind of lines um, so if we have like the green corner here and then like the green, uh, the other, this other green corner facing like the opposite direction and then we have this other green up in the top, we can like connect it and then like do a D2 and then slice. Uh, if we're looking at green block here, we have like a pair of, um, corners and then like the edge in the top layer. For this you can just... Uh, line them up and then like do an M2 
that solves that. Um, if we have the same like corner pair and edge in the front, uh, or edge anywhere in the bottom layer, then uh, I guess you can move it up to the top and then do an M2, and that's not terrible. Uh, but depending on the orientation, like if you were like this, it might be better to uh, slice up the pseudo pair and then like um, and then solve that from there. Uh, looking at green block here, so we have a pair here and then a pair here on the side. So this is a pretty good case, but it's not one slice because the pair and the corner are in the same layer. So you can just bring this down and then connect it, but yeah, no one slicer. Um, same thing if they're like opposite to each other, just don't break up the pair when you're bringing this down. If you have like a whole pseudo block where these two corners have to uh, swap, then uh, it kind of looks bad, but it's actually not uh, really bad. It takes three slices and um, it's pretty fast. So you can just slice up one of the pseudo pairs and then line it up, solve just this like that. It's pretty quick. Uh, if you look at orange block here, this is just a random case that's kind of annoying that I'll just show you. Uh, where you have like these two corners that are next to each other but they're kind of like flipped so they're not like matching here they've got the headlights here and here and um, this edge in the bottom so just connect one slice and then uh, split this back up and then put it back down so that's a three slice it's kind of annoying here on orange block there's another really annoying case where if you try to connect this edge to this edge in the bottom you have this edge back here then they both have to come down and then you have to like bring this one back up um, so I guess that is kind of the best way of doing it but if that bothers you there's uh, another way that's pretty much just as good where you connect it connect the uh, corners first and then do M2 so they're both three slices um, okay so now I'll do some example first block solves wait from cube shape uh, uh, and I'll only do green block so that I get a random block, but you should do color neutral blocks if you're actually solving. Okay, so um, we have a pseudo pair and green pair here. Um, this is a pretty weird case. So, I mean, you definitely shouldn't do blue anyway. I mean, you definitely shouldn't do green, but if you did have to, uh, I would slice the pseudo pair down and then connect um, uh, the corner to the edge and then move this to the front and that to the back and that slice. Um, next one, uh, see here we have a pair and corner in the top layer so this is just a one slice, bring this to the back, bring this to the front slice. Um, here we have edge here, uh, corner here and corner here so this is cool, two slices, um, bring the edge to the back make it connect with this corner which was already right here and then bring the bottom to well the pair to the front and put this in the back so that it's sliced together um, here we have one corner up here and our pseudo pair here so I would bring the edge to the front slice and then move this to the front and at the same time bring this pair to the back and then I can slice and make that um, so here we have two corners in the bottom and um, edge in the top. So this is actually a really nice case. Uh, so if I bring this edge to the back um, like that and then I do a slice to bring them together and then I literally just have to do like negative four, negative one, slice. And that's real smooth. Um, here we have corner in the back and edge here and like an opposite facing corner so that it makes kind of a line and I can bring this edge down like that to make the pair and then bring this to the front slice. Um, so here I have corner here and then uh, a edge, edge corner line uh, so edge here corner here facing the other way so I would put this edge in the back and then bring this corner to the front so I can pair them up together 
and then just do negative five one slice and press one. Uh, so here I have a pair of corners here and edge here. So for this, I would just slice down the pair of corners and then I can just put them in the back and then bring this to the front, do M2 and that's press block. So here I have a corner, corner and edge. So this one's kind of weird. I would bring this corner to the front and then I can bring this edge up to the top and then slice it down and that brings this corner back to here. Then I just bring it to the back and slice it down. Uh, okay, that's enough for us block, so hopefully you got better. And just remember to build your blocks on the bottom.